The Ravens offense features players from Louisville, Clemson, and even Ohio State. But it seems like one of the guys who's from Oklahoma could end up leaving sooner rather than later. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it. How to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens. Like the Ravens. And you know. So YouTube team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And as the weather here in Florida starts to cool down a bit, uh, these Orlando Brown Jr. talks are heating up. Uh, let's see what Josina Anderson had to say. She said, my understanding is that with the recent visit of free agent offensive lineman Alejandro Villanueva with the Ravens and with the NFL draft less than a week away, that trade talks surrounding Orlando Brown are heating up as the countdown to the event continues on. So... What she's saying is that, hey, it's it's getting cracking now, man. This whole Orlando Brown Jr., the trade talks, they starting to pop off a little bit more. And that's no surprise. I don't think anybody should be shocked by that because what deadlines do, they spark action. When people got a deadline, like any of y'all that's in if elementary school, middle school especially, high school especially, definitely college, even uh, in, the, in the corporate America world, if you have a deadline, Somebody says your manager, your teacher, your boss, your whatever. They say, hey, we need this project from you by May 1st. And they give it to you about two weeks ahead of time. It could be April 21st. You could be like, oh, I ain't got to turn it until May 1st. That's cool. I got it. Then April 23rd rolls around. Oh, no, we got time. I'm good. I'm good. April 25th comes along. You're like, oh, no, I'm straight. I got it. And then April 26th, 27th, and you're looking like, oh, okay, I, no, I'm good, I got, I got time. And then all of a sudden, uh, it's April 29th, and you're like, oh, I got, I got to do the project on May 1st, oh my goodness. And then you still put it off, and you don't do it until uh, April 30th. Because that is the deadline. It has to be done the following day. So the closer and closer it gets to when that project is due, that's going to put more and more pressure on you to get it done. It's the same way in the NFL world. It happens all the time. All the time. And with the Ravens and Orlando Brown Jr., um, y'all know my preference would be if they kept Orlando Brown Jr. So you don't create another hole on this team and another hole on this offense. But hey, if you're going to trade him, I completely understand why they would want to trade him this year as opposed to next. Because next year, it can get messy. And if you trade him and get rid of him next year, or let him walk, not necessarily get rid of him. But if you let him go next year, then things are a lot more complicated than they would be if you traded him right here, right now. And let me explain that to you. The reason why I say that is because... Right now, you would get compensation for him today. If you trade him today or within this next week, you get compensation right away. But if you wait until next year, say, for instance, you let him walk, you possibly get a third round comp pick for him. And the reason I say possibly is because it's not a guarantee because the comp, the third round comp pick is based off of the pay. So the money, I mean, so he will, he will get this money, uh, but it would also be based off of the playing time, too. Um, so it would be expected that you would get the third comp, third round comp pick, but it wouldn't be a guarantee because hopefully it wouldn't happen. But what if he signed somewhere else and he got injured and he didn't play most of the season? You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't. So it would be a question mark. And then if you wanted immediate compensation for him next year, you would have to apply the franchise tag to him. And then he would be able to choose which team he would be traded to. Uh, and it just things could just get really messy. That's the point. They could get really messy and just very unpredictable if you wait to trade him until next year. So, yeah, I can understand why they're doing it or trying to do it right here, right now. So we're waiting. We're waiting. But we will have the answer to this Orlando Brown Jr. question within the next six days. Because there is absolutely no way. <laughs> there is no way that this guy gets traded for anything less than a first round draft pick. It's no way. It's like, <laughs> uh, uh, no, that's that's not gonna happen. Um, now with Alejandro Villanueva, uh, Jeff Zrebic talked about how um the visit, everything went good with the visit. Um, he came and he went. Uh, then that was yesterday. Uh, and Josina Anderson, she was on that too. Um, and she is somebody that is very credible. She she be getting it, man. She be getting it because she did say originally um, it came out, I think it came out Monday, 
that Alejandro uh, was supposed to visit with the Ravens. Then later on, Jacina was like, oh, that visit is scheduled for Wednesday. Then she's like, oh, wait, wait a minute, that visit actually now is scheduled for Thursday. And boom, he ended up coming through on Thursday. So that was that. But with uh, Jeff Zrebic, he just gave us a reminder of something that we already knew. Uh, he said the Ravens hosted uh, Alejandro Villanueva on the visit yesterday. And the expectation is that the Ravens hold off on signing any true free agent uh, uh, any true free agents until after May 3rd when the deals don't impact the comp pick formula. Uh, Ravens sitting on two likely fourth round comp picks that would be for one Matt Judon and Yannick Ngakwe. Um, and then they have another third that would be for David Cully. Uh, legwork being done on potential post May 3rd guys now. Okay, so cool. And again, no, no shocker. So, and I really, especially if they didn't sign Justin Houston, which, hey, so far it's working out for him. So far, everything is working out according to plan if they do really want Justin Houston and they want to keep their comp picks. I still don't agree with it. I still feel like, hey, if you want a guy, you should get him. But, hey, if the guy is willing to wait, if if it works out, great for the Ravens. I, I don't agree with that method, but if it works out for them, hey, kudos to them. Um, but with that, uh, if they weren't going to sign Justin Houston, then I certainly didn't expect them to sign Alejandro Villanueva for him to count against the comp pick formula. Uh, no, mm. <laughs> no, the, that thought never even crossed my mind. And I don't think it crossed any of yours either. I don't think anybody expected the Ravens to bring on Alejandro Villanueva anytime before the draft or anytime before May 3rd. So this is something that I know all of you guys, y'all knew already. So no shocker there. But anyway, um, it, it was nice to see, uh, just on a little side note, it was nice to see Lamar and Sammy and Hollywood and Andrews and J.K. <laughs> that's the feature offense right there. That's, that's the feature offense right there. It was nice to see all them guys uh, having a good time together, uh, just vibing together, clicking together, uh, and just having fun because they were certainly having a really good time. Uh, and you see, we got more than one basketball players on the team, man. It seemed like with Lamar, with the um, Lamar is more like a clutch shooter. He's a more a clutch shooter, three point guy. Uh, with the free throws that the the basketball challenge they were doing yesterday, that wasn't his thing. Hollywood was getting in there. Hollywood, I, that boy wasn't missing nothing. Um, but it, 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 it's nice to see all them guys just having a good time. And Hollywood, hey, he got the speed, man. Y'all saw him. Y'all saw him burn. Uh, what's the name? Of him? He 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 burned him like crazy. But anyway. Um, team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. Real quick, before we get out of here, shout out to all uh, the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Um, I appreciate y'all, and just Team Keep It Clean as a whole, man. Thank you for being willing to always come on here uh, and just have a conversation every day. Um, please keep your heads up, man. Please do that. It's Friday. Um, Friday, just because it's Friday, I know some people that doesn't really start the weekend for them or whatnot. Some people still work through the weekend and whatnot, but no matter what day it is, man, just be positive, man. Be positive. Uh, keep that positive energy, the positive vibes going. Uh, and tell somebody you love them. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And on that note, we out. <laughs>